Norse mythology is a rich and complex collection of stories and beliefs that originated in ancient Scandinavia. It features a diverse pantheon of gods and goddesses, each with their own roles, attributes, and domains. The Norse gods can be divided into two main groups, the Asir and the Vanir. The Asir are the gods of war, sovereignty, wisdom, and the sky. They live in Asgard, the highest realm of the cosmos, and are led by Odin, the All-Father. The Vanir are the gods of fertility, nature, prosperity, and magic. They live in Vanaheim, a realm adjacent to Asgard, and are led by Njord, the god of the sea. The Asir and the Vanir were once at war with each other, but later made peace and exchanged hostages. Odin, the chief god, who rules over Asgard and presides over war, poetry, magic, and death. He is the father of many gods and heroes, such as Thor, Baldr, Tyr, and Heimdall. He sacrificed one of his eyes to gain wisdom from the well of Mimir, and hung himself from the world tree Yggdrasil to learn the secrets of the runes. He is often accompanied by his two ravens, Hugin and Munin, thought and memory, and his two wolves, Jerry and Freki, greedy and ravenous. He rides an eight-legged horse named Sleipnir, and wields a spear named Gungnir. Thor, was Odin's most widely known son and the husband of the goddess Sif. Thanks to the Marvel Universe, he is still perhaps the most well-known god in the Norse pantheon. He was the protector of humanity and the powerful god of thunder, who wielded a dwarf-forged hammer named Njalnir, a devastating weapon that could slay giants and break mountains alike. Among the Norse gods, he was known for his bravery, strength, healing powers, and righteousness. Thor was often depicted riding a chariot that was drawn by two immense goats named Tangjostr and Tangrisnir. The word Thursday is taken directly from the Old Norse meaning Thor's Day. Loki was a mischievous god who could shapeshift and take up animalistic forms. He conceived a scheme to cause the death of Baldr. Upon learning that mistletoe was the only thing that could hurt Baldr, he placed a branch into the hands of the blind god, Hod, and tricked him into throwing it at Baldr, killing him. Unlike his modern-day incarnation in the Marvel Universe, Loki wasn't actually the son of Odin and half-brother of Thor, but was instead seen as a blood brother to Odin. Known as the father of monsters, Loki sired not only the terrifying great wolf, Fenrir, but also the serpent Jormungandr, and Odin's horse, Sleipnir. Baldr, the god of light, joy, purity, and beauty. He is the son of Odin and Frigg, and the husband of Nanna the goddess of peace. He is the most gentle and beloved god among the Asir, who admire him for his kindness and grace. He is immune to all harm except for mistletoe, which was used by Loki to kill him with the help of Hod. His death was mourned by all living things, and he will return after Ragnarok the end of the world. Tyr, the god of war, justice, law, and order. He is the son of Odin or Hymir a giant, depending on the source. He is one of the bravest and most honorable gods among the Asir, who respect him for his courage and wisdom. He sacrificed one of his hands to bind Fenrir, who will devour Odin at Ragnarok. He is associated with a rune named after him Tuaz, which symbolizes victory and justice. Heimdall, known as the shiniest of all gods due to him having the whitest skin, was a son of Odin. He sat atop the Bifrost the rainbow bridge that connects Asgard, the world of the Asir tribe of gods, with Midgard, the world of humanity and remained forever on alert, guarding Asgard against attack. Heimdall's horn, the Jullerhorn, was blown to warn the other gods and goddesses of impending danger. Bor, father of Odin, Vili and Vi, whose origins within Norse mythology remained shrouded in mystery, his mother was never revealed. Bor is sometimes taken to signify the earth, or the very first mountain. Frigg, Odin's wife, was a paragon of beauty, love, fertility, and fate. She was the mighty queen of Asgard, a venerable Norse goddess of the sky, who was gifted with the power of divination, and yet was surrounded by an air of secrecy. She was the only goddess allowed to sit next to her husband, and remained loyal to him despite his numerous extramarital affairs. Frigg was a very protective mother, so she secured an oath from the elements, beasts, weapons and poisons to ensure that they would not injure her brilliant and loving son, Baldr. Her trust was betrayed by Loki, a most deceitful god. Frigg's name is directly responsible for our rendering of the word for Friday. Bragi, the eloquent bard of Valhalla, Bragi is sometimes thought to be one of Odin's sons, although this isn't a universally endorsed claim. His name comes from the word Bragur, which means poetry, and historical records exist of many Viking or Norse poets that shared his name. Hermod, another disputed son of Odin, Hermod was fastest of all the gods and goddesses in Asgard, and was therefore their chosen messenger. In this way, he sits as the counterpart to the Grecian figure, Hermes, and Mercury of the Romans. 
It was Hermod who rode Sleipnir to plead that the goddess Hel should release Baldur after his death. Hel agreed, on the condition that the whole of creation wept for Baldur's loss. Sadly, a single Jotun, usually thought to represent the disguised trickster god, Loki, refused to do so. Just as it was only Mistletoe that failed to vow against causing Baldur harm, so his fate was sealed by a sole refusal to shed tears. Hot, ill-fated twin brother of Baldur, and the god of darkness. Both Hod and Baldur await Odin's death at Ragnarok, as it's said that they will rule in his stead when the realm of the dead opens and the world is regenerated. Freya was one of the most sensual and passionate goddesses in Norse mythology. She was associated with many of the same qualities as Frigg love, fertility and beauty, although she also practiced Seedr, a form of magic that was associated with control, manipulation, fate and destiny. She was the sister of Freyr and was a member of the Vanir, ruling over a meadow in heaven named Folkvanger. It was thought that half of those heroes who died in battle would go on to reside in Folkvanger, whereas the other half would be guided by the Valkyries to Valhalla. Freya was often shown wearing a necklace named Brisingaman and a cloak of feathers, and her animal companions included the two cats who drew her chariot, and a boar named Hildesvini. Freyr was the god of fertility and one of the most respected gods of the Vanir clan. Freyr was a symbol of prosperity and pleasant weather conditions. He was frequently portrayed with a large phallus. Hian was the goddess and ruler of the Norse underworld of the same name also known as Helheim. The daughter of Loki, she had pale skin and appeared to be deathlike, with only half of her body being flesh and blood, and the other half consisting of bones. She nurtured and housed any who entered her realm, within which her power had no equal. Njord. At the end of the Asir Vanir War, Njord was sent to Asgard to secure a truce. A member of the Vanir, he was the god of the wind, seafarers, coasts, inland waters and wealth. Vidar was another son of the supreme god, Odin, and Grid, and his powers were matched only by that of Thor. Vidar resided in a great hall within Asgard named Vidi and, despite his great strength, preferred to sit in silent contemplation or spend his time working upon a special shoe. This shoe is fashioned from the wares of many different shoemakers across Midgard, and would allow Vidar to avenge Odin's death after Ragnarok. In fact, it was Vidar who would kill Fenrir, and survive Ragnarok to create the new world. Vali was the son of Odin who avenged Baldur's death by killing Hod, the god who pierced Baldur with mistletoe. An archer, Vale's arrows echoed the sunbeams that grow in strength as winter turns into spring. He was another survivor of Ragnarok. For Seti, presiding over disputes between the gods and goddess of Asgard, For Seti was a peaceful master of meditation who was associated with justice, truth, and law. His name means president or presiding one. The son of Baldur, For Seti's silver and gold house, Glitner, shone so brightly that it could be seen from far afield. Mimir, a wise Asir god, Mimir was sent to the Vanir to secure a truce between the two groups, yet was killed by the gods he sought to forge peace with. After his demise, his head was kept by Odin, who continued to receive secret knowledge and wise counsel from it. Ullr, is a Norse god of archery and the hunt who carries particular relevance to modern audiences. As the god of winter, Ullr was often depicted standing upon his shield in the manner of a snowboarder, which has led to a contemporary association with skiing. Ullr was the son of Sif and the stepson of the mighty Thor. Ion, the goddess of youth, spring and rejuvenation, Ion distributed fruit, usually taking the form of golden apples to the other gods that prolonged their longevity. Ion was once lured out of Asgard by Loki after he promised her apples even fairer than those she already tended, where she was abducted by a great eagle. During her absence, the other gods begin to grow old, eventually leading Loki to relent from his mischief. Transforming Ion into a nut, Loki assumed the form of a falcon and carried the precious goddess back to Asgard, eluding the pursuing eagle. 